Greetings has received a number of home videos from viewers. Most of these tapes can be explained by our experts as aircraft or natural phenomena. But a few do remain unidentified. Although the sightings are too brief to allow for definitive explanation, these home videos offer a unique glimpse of what our viewers are seeing every night of the year. 911, what are you reporting? Um, what the hell is that? Not a helicopter because I can't hear it. When they come out, you still don't mind me? Yeah. Yeah. No. Every amateur home video submitted to sightings asks the same questions. What are they? Where did they come from? And where are they going? The answers have yet to be found. Before the advent of home video technology, the government did try to find an answer. But of the 12,618 cases investigated by Project Blue Book, 701 remain a mystery. Project Blue Book ended in 1969, but the sightings have not. Thousands are reported each year, many to the sightings offices. Recently, several videos arrived from one area of northern Michigan. There's been a lot of speculation why Michigan. Michigan has historically had an extremely high percentage of reported UFO sightings in the United States. Approximately 7.05 that morning, I received a call from this female who identified herself as Tracy Shada. And she, I could tell the tone of her voice, she was quite, quite frightened. Uh, it took about three or four times to ask him what the complaint was about before he told me it was a UFO reported. When we sent a team to investigate, State Troopers Guldner and Lasky told us that in their 20 years on the force, they've received hundreds of UFO calls. 99% of the time you take it as a, somebody who sees a bright light up in the sky. And personally, I felt there's, there's definitely something there. This lady is not telling some concocted story. I'm guessing it was two to three times the size of my barn. And as the object appeared to be moving away, I got real scared. Uh, there's things out there that are unexplained, and this is one of them. Home video shot by viewer Richard Almeida alerted us to an unexplained sighting in the skies above Sacramento, California. I called FAA in the morning and told them what we encountered, and uh, he said that, uh, that they didn't pick up anything on radar, and that was it as far as that conversation went. Home videos like those from Michigan and Sacramento are analyzed by photographic and aeronautic experts. Sophisticated computer technology compares and contrasts UFO images with those of known aircraft. Photo analyst Jeff Senio interpreted the Sacramento video. You see a dot in the sky, which in itself could be a star. It's really difficult to tell from the video itself, but more interestingly, another light comes up from below it because the images themselves are so minute, the flight pattern and velocity of the UFO become critical to the analysis. The important thing we get from this graph is that the apparent speed here appears to double in the 11 seconds that we see this thing. That's quite possibly simply because it got closer to us. So what kind of object gets twice as close to us in 11 seconds and you still can't make out what its shape is? It's still just a dot. And so. This video I, I simply can't identify. It's, it's got a characteristic that uh, seems to defy conventional explanation. In Aliso Viejo, California, viewer Dale Newcomb shot this video of what he describes as a flying saucer. Analysis proves otherwise. Here's a freeze frame of the object that was seen in Aliso Viejo. Very classic saucer shape there. The giveaway, here we're seeing it go out of focus. The giveaway we see is the uh, FAA compliant anti-collision strobe lighting. You see a flash on the bottom and the top of the object every once in a while. It's the giveaway that these are uh, rather startling looking, but conventional advertising balloons. Senio is a staff analyst with MUFON, the mutual UFO network. As the leading independent UFO organization, MUFON also receives many videotapes, including this one from Griesfeld, Germany, that had the military very concerned. There was a case of uh, multiple lights in the sky, hundreds of witnesses, uh, objects joining and leaving, uh, a main group of objects, 
think the sighting went on for well over an hour. Uh, allegedly, this was shot at by uh, Russian artillery. And uh, witnesses saying that these things flew off at very high speed. Uh, I simply can't guess as to where they come from. With the advent of home video technology, the number of documented UFO sightings has risen dramatically, but the percentage that can be explained has not risen. Ironically, the more unidentified flying objects amateur ufologists capture on tape, the greater the mystery becomes for professional analysts. Having any kind of evidence, including videotape and still photos, really increases um, the acceptability, um, the acceptance of the fact that there is definitely something going on. If you see a UFO and you have a video camera ready, here's an important suggestion. Try to keep the camera steady. Avoid panning back and forth or zooming in and out. And if at all possible, try to include some other object like a tree or building in the frame. This way, analysts can better determine the UFO's actual size, shape, and velocity.